hope I'm not going to spook you. Hello? Hey. Hey. I can see you're shaking. Don't worry. You're okay. I didn't come here for the same reason the others did. I'm not here to hurt you. You can trust me. Just turn around. Look at me. See? I'm unarmed. I haven't got any weapons. I can hurt you if I wanted to. Let me just... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. I won't come into your cell. I'll just stay outside here. Do you recognize me? I... I thought you might. I can't blame you for not trusting me. But I... I only come here to talk. Honest. No, I'm... Not interested in any information you hold. Not come here to... Drag any truth out of you. No, no, no. It's just me. All the others are asleep or on watch duty. Well, firstly, I want to apologise for what they put you through. I know they can tend to get a bit rough. And your bruises, your, I can see you're still hurting. And the blood stain on the floor tells me all I need to know about your treatment. Um, I'm sorry for how they're treating you. Your buddies. Oh, um. I, I'm. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. They're alive, but they're in the same position as you. Well, actually, you're a bit less worse. I persuaded my allies to go easier on you, because you... You saw me. Yet, you didn't act as your fellow soldiers did. You seemed to not want to kill. I was well within your shooting range. Yet you hesitated, even though your commander ordered you to fire. I'm curious, why didn't you? Why didn't you shoot? Why did you hesitate when it could have cost you your life? Did you have a death wish? Have you never killed before? It's okay. I didn't come here expecting you to give me an answer. If you know a girl before, if that's the case, then... I understand. The first time is... Terrifying. It makes you see the horror. The fear. The dread fills someone's eyes. And if you don't do it quickly, watching them tremble, wench in agony, it can be both terrifying and empowering at the same time. You can feel so powerful, so in control, and it's easy to get lost in it. So just let out all your frustration, all the feelings inside you that you didn't even realise you had. All the things that still bugged you, still ticked you off. Letting everything, everything out. And you just scream internally. And you let it all out with one swing, one slice. But one slice isn't enough. You watch the blood fly. Everything just fades. 
and all you can do is listen to the skin being torn open. You feel so wild, so lost, so high, you're in a head rush. You're lost in the act. The only thing that fuels this feeling, this ecstasy, is destroying them more, making them bleed more, making them scream louder, tearing them, ripping them apart, destroying them, mutilating their body, imagining everyone who's ever wronged you flashing before your eyes, sinking your teeth into their neck, tearing off masses of their skin, then biting down and piercing their veins. And before you know it, your eyes burn from the blood on your eyelids. And the taste of iron is all you can taste. You brought back to reality the potential you have, the result of your potential laying in front of you. And a thought comes that how that body, that lifeless corpse, could have been you. Could have been yours. Could have been your family's, your friends. You feel sick. You feel disturbed. You feel like such a monster. That memory, it taunts you playing repeatedly in your mind, in your dreams, in your waking thoughts. You're plagued by it, you're in shock of just how capable you are of what you just did. You're shaking, your knees deep in a pool of blood, and you still feel the same. You wonder, was it really the only solution? Because although you allow all that rage and bloodlust is still there, the act changed nothing. It only made you feel powerful or safe. And even that didn't last. The only thing you gained was more stress and more torture for yourself. But, in war, in survival, you can't hope to realistically save everyone, to do everything in the most morally correct way. You can't take down every threat in a non-lethal way. When it comes down to these things, you have to choose. And you can't be choosy about who you have to kill. It's your survival, or it's your death. It's your life or theirs. my first place in my head, now and then. But I did what I had to do. There was no other option. Would they have treated me the same way? Probably not. But it was kill or be caught. The person's life I took, probably the most innocent ever just someone who is in the wrong place at the wrong time. His job, his role, would have dragged me back to where I came. My age? 16. Why do you ask? Oh. Oh. Seeing me, I 
reminded you of your own child. But why would that stop you? Why would that stop you from shooting the enemy? Me? I... I don't know, I... I can't remember my parents, or... If I ever had any, my memories are all... A blur when I think about back then. Before... Before everything hit the fan. Your accent... It rings familiar. Where are you from? Oh. No. I used to live there. Mm-hmm. I was, uh, a slave there, actually. I lived in that hold all my life. Before the camps. Before your superiors, as you all like to call them, found a resource to render all slaves and all labour useless. The camps that your people fund the development of. I wasn't born a slave, no. I, I came from one of their facilities, you know, where they have <sighs> mass breeding institutions, so that they can either train the offspring into child death squadrons, or just sell the organs of those once they exceed any usefulness to the state. No, no, of course you're not aware of that, no. <sighs> the labour of your people funds the facilities, but of course, you and they don't know what they do in there. You also don't know how your superiors go around committing acts of biological warfare on the surrounding tribes so they can expand their territory. It's not lies. I was shown this. They tried to train me. I was supposed to infiltrate the nearby tribes as an innocent child and wipe them out myself and any areas of the continent that opposed your superior's reign. But I was not up to their standards. I lacked the skill and the abilities. So I was just shipped into slavery instead. Before that, full of facility. I can't remember. I was there as long as I can remember. You look shocked, but there's a whole lot more that your people aren't even aware of. What did they tell you? That we're a bunch of terrorists, rebels? The camps, the facilities, the mass eugenics that your rulers commit. This is why we fight. This is why we storm their lands, for our freedom, for our lives, to stop such atrocities. Why are you shocked? Why does the fact that I joined this cause shock you because I was a slave? Yes, we managed to take a camp. The people, the civilians, they were brainwashed. The ones that were left. They had to die. There was no other way. My commander told me that they're important to their cause. That with their death, the order lost more gain. More people. More support. More influence. No. We would never kill them just for being brainwashed. We would detain them and help them and... We... 
we didn't save any. They were all so far gone. We killed them all. Well, there was a lot of them. And they were escaping. They were running back to your superiors, so... We... Opened fire on them. Using a tank. And cannons and everything else we could. There was no one left to save. We couldn't. They were too... Lost. They were too blinded. They... They would have gladly kill themselves, for the order anyway. They were far too far gone. We can help them. No. It wasn't the only camp. Whatever they do in there. Whatever goes on. It changes the people. If they don't end up being flayed alive. No. We do... We... We don't kill everyone. We're not a terrorist group. How dare you compare us to your fucking superiors. We are not your order. We do not commit atrocities. Shut up. You're just trying to fill my head with all these lies. No, you're just blinded. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I was wrong to come here. Maybe you're just like all the others. I thought that you had more humanity. More empathy. When I saw you having the gun aimed at me but not firing. I took you down myself so that you wouldn't be killed. I saved your life. I spared it. Because I thought you might be different. I thought you might be like us. That you might notice all the things that your government, your order, your superiors, whatever you want to call them, are doing. The blood fucking stains they've left on this land. The people they've torn apart. But I guess you're just like all the others. Just another worker. Another blinded civilian. Unaware of what your job, your labour funds. I don't see how you can sleep at night knowing what you've done. No wonder why you didn't kill me. <laughs> you didn't have the guts to. You're just a weak. Soldier. You say how you imagine that could have been your child. In your sights. Try and think about all the children that have been burnt, been killed, been drained into what you are. All the shit that goes on down in those facilities. Everything. You think I'm anything? You should look at what your own fucking commanders do. No, I'm done talking. You know what? I hope they tear you limb from limb. And I hope next time I come in here, there's no one. There's just a blood fucking stain on the walls. And you are a corpse hanging by your own intestines. <laughs>